So by year five and six, the two written methods for multiplication are known as short and long multiplication. With short multiplication, we are multiplying a three-digit number by a single digit number. In this case, 243 multiplied by six. So we would lay it out in our columns. So 243 multiplied by six. So we've got six and a three both in the ones column. And then we would take it a step at a time. So six multiplied by three, which we know is 18. And because we've got a one in the tens column, we carry that across. Six multiplied by four is 24, plus the 10 that we carry, so that gives us a five, and we carry the two. And then six multiplied by two is 12, plus the two that we carry it across, which gives us 14. And our final answer, therefore, is 1,458. Moving on from that, we're now looking at long multiplication, which is a four-digit number multiplied by a two-digit, and we have 5,172 multiplied by 38. We'd lay out the calculation in very much the same way as short, so making sure that each digit is in the correct column. So 5172, 3 in the tens, and the 8 in the ones column and making sure we put the correct symbol as well. Now this time there's an extra step because we've got two digits that we're multiplying by. So as before, and we'll start with the eight. So eight multiplied by two is 16. Eight multiplied by seven is 56, plus the one that we carried gives us 57. Eight multiplied by one is eight, plus the five is 13. 8 multiplied by 5 is 40, and plus the one that we carried gives us 41. Now this next part is something that needs to be remembered. The 3 we know is actually in the tens column and represents the 30. So because we're multiplying by a multiple of 10, we need to make sure that we place a 0 into the ones column to hold the place value, and then we can carry on like before. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 7 is 21, 3 times 1 is 3, plus the 2 we carried gives us 5, 3 times 5 is 15. Okay, then the final stage of the calculation just requires us to add together the two numbers we've got so far. So 6 plus 0 is 6, 7 plus 6 we know is 13, carry the 1. 3 plus 1 is 4, plus the 1 we carried is 5. 5 plus 1 is a 6, that nice and clear. 4 plus 5 is 9, and then the 1 on the end. So our final answer then is 196,536.